why should we study about stress and our health how are they related to each other these are very important questions that we should seriously think about the term mental health is often neglected in our society and there is little awareness around it unlike physical illness mental illness is something that most of us neglect until it becomes too difficult to deal with it hello everyone i am shivadasan welcome to my channel manasam mental health is as essential as physical health and is the greatest asset to protect at any cost along with physical health mental health is another asset that one needs to keep oneself sane we get so caught up in our daily routines juggling between work and home that we forget how important it is to recognize self worth and learn to love and appreciate ourselves in my previous two videos i explained about stress its sources and how it influences our life by now it may be clear that stress comes from many sources and has a significant impact on the person experiencing it stress can influence our physical and psychological well-being our performance on many tasks and even the ultimate course of our careers the function of autonomic nervous system a part of human nervous system is responsible for automatic involuntary and life sustaining activities the system consists of two divisions the sympathetic and the parasympathetic in the sympathetic nervous system the fight or flight system reacts when the human body is subjected to stress heart rate increases digestion slows or shuts down and energy is sent to the muscles to help them cope with any activity required in a stressful situation the parasympathetic system returns the body to normal day to day functioning after the stress is over both systems including several neural structures in the limbic system are prominent in general adaptation syndrome a classic theory of the body's physiological response to stress and dr neurologist hans eli is a founder of the field of research on stress and its effects on human body he studied the sequence of physiological reactions the body goes through when coping with stress the general adaptation syndrome consists of three stages the alarm reaction the stage of resistance and the stage of exhaustion alarm reaction in this the body immediately prepares for action stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system releases hormones that help prepare our body to deal with threats or danger resistance stage as the stress continues the body settles into sympathetic division activity continuing to release stress hormones that help the body to fight or resist the stress exhaustion stage when the body's resources are depleted exhaustion occurs at this stage our immunity decreases and our susceptibility to disease increases exhaustion can lead to the formation of stress related disease example high blood pressure or a weakened immune system or the death of the organism if outside help is not available alarm and resistance are stage that people experience many times throughout their life allowing people to adapt to the demands of life prolonged secretion of stress hormones during the exhaustion stage is responsible for the most harmful or damaging effects of stress please stay tuned still i have lot more for you on this subject don't forget to subscribe my channel if not done also please comment like and share with all your dear and near ones thanks a lot